loss of capital in the oil equity investment. Well, there certainly is. You know, there's no question. If, if oil stays at these prices, there's going to be a lot of money, a whole lot of money, and it'll extend to bank loans, and it'll affect the banking industry to some degree. Not It doesn't, doesn't destroy them or anything, but it, there's a lot of money that's been invested that was not invested based on a $17 or $20 or $25 price for for WTI, West Texas Intermediate Oil. And uh, uh, But you can do the same thing in copper. You, know, you can do the same thing in, in some of the things we manufacture. I mean, it, it but with commodities, it's particularly dramatic. And, uh, you know, farmers have been getting lousy prices, but to some extent, the government subsidizes them. I'm all for it, actually. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, but if you're an oil producer, you take your chances on future prices, unless you want to sell a lot of futures forward. Oxy actually did sell 300,000 barrels a day uh, of uh, puts, in effect, that, uh, or they, they, they bought puts but, and sold uh, calls, in effect, to match it. And they were protected on a $10 for a layer of $10 uh, a barrel on 300,000 barrels a day. Uh, but you're really buying, when you buy oil, you're betting on oil prices over time and, and uh, over a long time. Uh, and oil prices, uh, there's, there's risk. And, and the risk is being realized by oil producers as we speak. Uh, there will be, if these prices prevail, there will be a lot of bad loans and energy loans and, and if, or, or bad debts and energy loans. And if there are bad debts and energy loans, you can imagine what happens to the equity holders. So yes, there's risk.